Walking through Ellis Island, the former entryway for immigrants into America, is like touring the nation's family tree. There you can scan faces from a century ago in black and white photos. Men, women, old, young, wealthy, and dirt poor, criminal and honest. And today, a variety of people continue to be stirred into the melting pot we call the United States. We see something similar when we peer into Jesus' lineage. Women, men, Jews and Gentiles, kings and the destitute, the upright and prostitutes. You'd think the Messiah's bloodline would have been spotless, but instead it was a hodgepodge of sinners and saints. But why would the Father allow a muddied human genealogy for his righteous and divine Son? What if the answer is you and me? It's so easy to think God is for everyone else, but somehow we're not good enough for his affection. But Jesus' messy family tree proves otherwise. His humanity came from the best and the worst, so you and I would find ourselves among them. We can't disqualify ourselves because of mistakes or dismiss him because of how good we think we are. God publicly recognized the best and the worst people as his family so you too could find your name among his people. So write it boldly on your heart and wear it on your face. You're part of God's grand eternal family.